It's in the mail from Amazon. Monitor outdoors and garden metal detector, waterproof search coil and backlit LCD screen. So we're gonna put this together. This is a reasonably priced metal detector. I know everybody wants to know what the best metal detector is. And sometimes you just get a metal detector as a gift. Let me tell you, if somebody's just looking to start out, you don't want to jump in and get the most expensive things because not every, this hobby isn't for everybody. Nevertheless, not everybody has a ton of money to spend on a metal detector. Even though I believe, depending on where you live, like in New York City, this hobby pays off for itself. In fun, coins, relics, everything. Friendship. Wow, it comes with two batteries. You don't see that every day. Looks like it comes with batteries and instructions. Is that a pouch? Maybe. Wow, this is cool. Let me cut that open. Nice and easy. Okay. Wow, a whole bag. Sometimes these things don't come with anything. Comes in a whole carrying case and a strap. That's cool. Whoa, it comes with a shovel too? It comes with a digger, look at that. You don't need, you know, some things you don't need instructions for. Look, you screw this into that. Wow, that's cool. I could 100% use that. Tighten that up. Wow, compact. That's great. It's like a little military shovel. Excellent. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's, oh, that's to keep, put on the blade so you don't cut anything if you ship it. This appears to be the box display sensitivity depth set mode. I'm sh that's probably um, up and down for sensitivity. That looks like how you turn it on or enter and pinpoint. It has it pinpointed too. And as you can see, it has bottle cap five cent, pull tab one cent, ten cents, quarter fifty cents. Pretty cool. What else do we have in here? Oh, epic, and it's plastic. This is great for the sand. It's non-conductive, so you can keep your metal detector there while you're combing through something so you don't cut your hand, that's cool. Wow, let me tell you, for the price of this thing, you're really getting a lot of stuff starting out. It's great for kids also. This seems to be the pole, the rod, rather. And you, it has these little push things to make it easy. Loosen it up. Righty tidy, lefty loosey, guys. Always remember that. This side up. Oh, I see. You push this in, and then it extends. Cool. Now let's get a knife, um, a snip to get rid of these zip ties real quick. Now that we have this shaft on here, we're gonna tighten that a little and we're gonna take this part, the handle that you're gonna be holding, push that, push this little metal rivet. There you go, and then you wanna just line it up. Oop. There we go. No, I don't have the best camera angle, but that's okay. And then you tighten it up. I'm doing the longest setting because I am a tall fella. Okay. Now, take the control box, to push it in, it snapped in, and then you use that to keep it tight. Now you want to turn these to the right to keep them snug. I'm sorry, turn them to the left to keep them snug. That's good. Now, what you do with these wires is, you don't want to put too much stress on this, so you leave that a little loose and you just follow the coil wire around the shaft, nice and easy. Easy breezy. See that? It's that easy. It is where you connect it. You wanna look inside here and get the top part and match it up with the one slot on top. Don't force it in. Never force these types of plugs in. You line it up and then you snugly put it in there and that's it. You put it in the wrong way, you could harm the wire or the female part.
See? Snug as a bug in a rug. All right. Let's fire this puppy up. How you adjust this on your arm? You just fold it like that. Let me go on the light so you can see it better. So there you go. Just go across the top. Now, it doesn't go underneath your arm. It goes just up top. This way it's snug. See the wire, how close, you know, it's a little loose for some play, but some people I see videos with it dangling out. You never do that. You get interference, falsing. You also get, can get caught on thorns or branches or something. You definitely don't want that. Then you can harm your detector. So I'm going to do an air test and then we'll go test it in the field. Let's do it. Shovel. Look at this. You use it like that. Dig it up. All like this. Really awesome. It's got the ridges for the roots. That's really cool. I didn't even know I came with that. This is really cool for the beach. You can even get a plastic shovel. If you don't have a pinpointer, it's easy to hold the plastic shovel and go right onto the coil. This is cool. Especially if there's a lot of dirt and garbage, you can sift right through it. Or shells. Guys, so here's all the stuff. I mean, we have a nice shovel, this awesome plastic rake, this pouch scratching that nice bag. It's like a tactical bag for the metal detector. The metal detector itself. And I made this little chart of inches. I went up to 14. I don't think we're gonna need more than that. Turn this on. Okay, you, it's gonna beep because there's a lot of nails and EMI in my house. There is a backlight. I'm surprised this has a pinpoint mode. It does. Where if you go right over a target, it's gonna just hum. So you know exactly, look. See? Right over the target, it's gonna tell you exactly where to dig. That is really cool. So it has a backlight, you can use it at night. Has all different modes, it tells you, look, this is the gold range, this is the silver range, this is the iron range. You can also hold down the set mode here, and when those modes blink, you can hit up or down to get rid of that signal. If you're getting a lot of bottle caps or a lot of iron, you get rid of that signal, it won't beep again, unless it's probably a massive piece of iron. I'm not sure, but you can discriminate. That's what discriminating is. I don't want to hear this noise anymore. So if you keep getting that same tone, that same number that you don't like, I recommend new be as a new beginner, you should dig everything to get used to what all these noises are. I also got the same signal a month ago, approximately, no, the beginning of the month, kept getting the same tone, it kept bullet after bullet, and then a gold ring came out. So. You could do what you want, but if there's an enormous amount of trash, this could be very beneficial. Also sensitivity. How sensitive do you want it? Do you want it to beep right away? Do you want it to go as deep as possible? Sensitivity also, you could adjust that. You hold the mode down, up and down. You want it less sensitive or more sensitive? You want it to beep right away? You want it as deep as possible? You turn it all the way up. If you're getting a lot of interference, you might want to turn the sensitivity down. And then it also, see the sensitivity rate? Here, and then it also has a depth, how deep something is. Let's try to get something to beep. See? See, it's telling you what it thinks the depth is. Oh, turn the pimp. See the depth's going off? Cool. That's pretty much it. This is really plug and play stuff. Not rocket science. Anyone could do this. Anyone. Oh, look, it even has like, what it could be. 10 cents, nickel, penny. We're going to look at that in a minute. Stay tuned. Plus, you're starting out, you're probably not gonna wanna go that deep, right? <laughs> All right. So, I mean, I could've did a lot of different coins. I figured I'll give you a, you know, basic ones of things that I find in New York. Um, I haven't found a Morgan yet. I want to. You are gonna find a lot of these bottle caps, let me tell you. Um, and let's get to it. I'll show you how many inches this does. Here's a zinc penny. Let's see what it does. Wow, eight and a half inches. Hang on there, it shows a penny. Oh yeah, it shows a penny. It's showing a penny. Not bad. I have the Indian head scent. Indian head scent. What is that, same penny. thing? Good. Let's see what that does. Very similar tone, you hear that? Oh, I got a nine. Straight out of the box, I'm getting a nine inch 
signal for an Indian head scent. Again, this is an air test. Depending on what type of soil or sand you're in, it's gonna act differently. But that's pretty impressive for such a cheap detector. So you don't need the most fanciest detectors starting out. You can start off with something cheap, and once you get hooked, most people do, you're gonna to wanna to buy other detectors. But this is good for a backup. You leave it in your car, not a big deal. You don't wanna leave a $2,500 metal detector in your car and it gets stolen. Um, so this is always good for a backup. Say you're near a park on your lunch break, you wanna hit the park for like five minutes, this is perfect. Nickel. Nickel? You hear the difference in the tones? Nine and a half. Nine and a half for a nickel, wow. Clad dime. Yep, 2007, let's see. Size does factor into it too. Eight and a half for dime. We have the Merc I just found. 1929 silver Merc. Mercury dime. Very similar sound to the clad. I'd say about almost eight inches. Now when you're swinging, you might swing faster, it might come up better. That's still pretty good. A lot of people don't want to dig too far down. So, depending on where you are and the conditions, here is a clad quarter. It's pretty good for a $100 detector. Clad quarter. Yeah, it showed, and now it's showing 25. Bicentennial, that's a nice one. Ooh, nine inch. Nice. Morgan Dollar, 1885. That's a nice coin. Is, is it in the silver range? On the top it shows what range it's in. Nine. I have the elusive pull tab. Showing the bottle cap. Oh, could be a could be a gold duck. Uh, of course, this one goes super deep, right? <laughs> wow, eleven. Got a let. Well, let's go more than eleven. Eleven. Let's go with this silver ring that I found in the park. Silver ring nine two five. Isn't this silver? Silver. Ring? Ooh, nine and a half. Got a signal out of that. Yeah, I'm not swinging very fast by just waving my hand. It is an air test again. 400 year old 14K ring I found. Gold ring. In the gold range? Yep. It's my 14K 100 year old ring. Let's see what we get on that. Now as you do this more and you dig up a lot of garbage, you're gonna memorize the tones, right? Memorize the tones, you'll know what it could be. Bad and good, over time. Well, I, ha I got an eight for the gold. These are all in inches, see, on the air test. Not bad for uh, this cheap detector on Amazon, let me tell you. This detector, you know what it's awesome for? Seated hunts. Everything at a seated hunt is like an inch down. This is so light. I would bring this over my Equinox. First of all, the Equinox is gonna act crazy with other detectors everywhere, the EMI. This is light, you swing it quick, bam, get a coin, throw it in your pouch, go, go, go. With the tokens or whatever they do out there. These are ideal for those types of hunts. That's it, look how beautiful. This is like a $100 detector, you get all this stuff. And is that accurate? If you want something cheap, you're looking to get into it, I would recommend getting something this cheap. Okay, hit the box. We got our new metal detector here. We're gonna test out.
Okay, we don't want to change anything. We're just going to leave it all metal. Fire it up. I'm getting a quarter signal here, it shows, if I'm reading that correctly. Remember, this is my first. Oh, look at that. It's right, it's right near the surface. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. I have very rarely find coins here. This is not a joke. I've been coming here on my random. It's a modern quarter, but it's still a quarter. You find 400 of these, you got your metal detector paid for. And if you keep going, you can buy a nicer detector. I like the different tones you're getting. I should be showing the screen, right? I'm sorry. Hold on. Got this thick jacket on. It's 32 degrees right now. I can't believe there was a quarter there. I know it's not that exciting, guys. I mean, it's not like watching this, this, your stock market go, stocks going up 100%. But for the hobby, this is cool. It's just a good feeling. This is saying quarter also, but is it might be this metal sign, which it is. Maybe not. Kick that out of the way. Getting a lot of iron. Oh, look, another golf ball. There's always golf balls in the woods, no matter what wood you go into, for some reason. Oh. Nickel dime. Can you guys see that? We're getting a nickel dime here. Look at this. Solid as a rock. That's why I didn't go to the Bronx today with the rest of the crew. Got a penny signal here, but it could be a pull tab. It's a little bit more soft over here. That's good. What is that? Oh, do you know what this is? This might be a Zippo bucket lister. Found this with this cheap Amazon metal detector. Do you see this? How cool is that? And I've been here with my Equinox. Maybe I just didn't go over this spot, but this picked it up. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Thanks. It's like a razor or something. Can't even take that out. It's frozen. I'm getting a penny signal here. Oh. Some shoes up here. What is that? The hell is that? Piece of lead? Switch plate? No idea. A lot of broken glass. 
Getting a quarter signal here. Come on, please be something good. See how frozen this ground is? Oh, I see a coin. I'm gonna get my pinpointer on the cheap lanyard. Look at that, guys. Come on, be something good. <gasps> There's a silver rim. <gasps> 58! I got a freaking silver coin with this cheap detector. Are you freaking kidding me? I only found, I didn't find one silver quarter with my Equinox yet. I don't freaking believe this. Do you see that? I would say that was three inches down, three to four inches down. Holy crap. And that's what a cheap detector. Now, I've been here at least five times on my Equinox. I'm not saying it's not a great machine, but I never got this. I just got a, my second silver quarter. I never got a Washington with it. This is this is my second silver for the year, and I got it with this cheap detector. Oh my god! We'll clean when we get up. We'll get home. I gotta put this in my pocket. I don't want to lose it. Wow. Let's keep going. Wow. Please be a coin. I think it sounds too big to be it, but you never know. It's the first time out with the machine, so. All right, let's see. It's more moisture over here, it seems like. It's not as frozen. That ain't no coin. That looks like a kid's toy. Or maybe a solder pot? Oh crap, now it's garbage, right? <laughs> Looks like a kid's pot. Or somebody was cooking something with that. What is that? Somebody leave a comment below. Let me know what that is. There's a pipe up there. And there's a woodpecker up there. <laughs> Hear it? Cool. What the hell is that? What is that? Do you see this? What is that? Looks like a gun. Do you see that? Oh, I can't bang this too hard. This might be significant. What the hell? Two right, guns. I switch over to my phone because my GoPro died. So, uh, turn her off. All right, Oz, detector's off, and we are off to our car now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not lying to you. This was the best hunt of 2021 so far that I had, and it was with the cheapest detector I have ever swung. Now, I'm not saying if you get this detector, you're gonna find great stuff. I don't, what's a better word for bullshit? I'm not gonna bullshit yet. If it's not deep, it's gonna beep. You just gotta be at the right place at the right time. The point is, if you're just starting out and you're on the fence, you're not knowing what to get, and it's a possibility that you may not like this hobby a week from the day you buy the machine, 
Well, the metal detector out of Don't go spending crazy money. Get the cheap one, see if you like it, and then move on from there. And you will find enough things, enough coins, to buy another metal detector. I just found a, a, a ring the other day that was worth half of what my metal my better metal detector is worth. All right. This car. Who the hell knows what kind of a car that is? There's just crap everywhere here. And you know what? A lot of more areas exposed in the winter. Oh, look at these mosaic tiles. Beautiful. You can make something with those. You're, uh, Ready? Uh, that's been in there a while. Look at this. Oh, I don't want to waste too much water, you know? Look, it's all chewed up on this side. And then we got 1958. This was the regular clay quarter from right in the beginning. Okay, here's the quick wrap up. I threw out all the other trash, but I did want to show you that because it did come up with the target idea of a pull tab and it worked. I think this may be off of an old kid's toy set. There's a plastic handle, so it can't be that old. Maybe 60s, 50s? I don't know. But there's a lot of 50s stuff going on over there. This is a bucket list of this cool lighter. Check that out. Awesome. I think this is the bottom of it, actually, because it was right near it. Two clad quarters. This is the same place I found that safe knob. I wonder if this is off this actual safe. I don't know, but it's heavy. Um, this is the second... Washington Quarter I've ever found. I never even found one with my Equinox. I only found silver dimes. The other silver quarter I found was with my White's MX Sport. It's just unbelievable. Uh, I really need to get my Equinox checked out. I really hope there is something wrong with it. So they fix it. And this was pretty epic. My friend Ronnie said it's probably a belt buckle, which he's probably right. It looks like maybe if it was a belt buckle, it would have a thing that would go across here. Has those two guns pretty heavy. Might be brass, I'm not sure, but it's, it has some weight to it. How cool is that? <laughs> this was all found with a hundred dollar detector. Can you believe this? I was out for about approximately an hour within walking distance of my house. Insane. So I'll leave a link below of this detector and I hope you enjoyed this thorough review. I tried to give, to give a, you know, People wonder which we should get. I'm an amateur. I'm, I, I want to buy a present. This isn't bad. There are also ones that are a little bit more pricey, but not too expensive. But you may not want to get that if you just thought out. Especially if it's something that they'll, your kids or your friend or yourself will just pick up and then not do again. You may not want to do it again. So if that's the case, get a cheap detective. And that's the review. If you like the content, you want to see me do more of these reviews. Click the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when we go live. We have a new video. Have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll leave all my other platforms and my email below if you have any other questions or you want to contact me. And have a good night, guys. Keep swinging.